Hi, Wilson. Uh, Joe Carbonell from Remax. Uh, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Um, I just wanted to show you this quickly. So there are there are some co-ops. So these are the areas that we talked about. Um, so Sunnyside, Elmhurst, Rego Park, Forest Hill, and Howard Beach. Uh, between 350 and 400, one or two bedrooms. Um, one bath so these are all the condos and most of these i sent i scrubbed through a couple um but sent you the rest and these are the co-ops so you can see there's 118 results eight of them are condos 110 of them are co-ops um the co-op prices aren't any cheaper so um a little bit but most of them are the same price as a condo or uh, even more, okay? And co-ops are a little trickier to get into because you have to get approved by a board. So it's basically your mortgage is what they call a proprietary lease. And the way that that works is it's like buying stocks in a company. You're buying shares in this company that owns the apartment building so subletting is not an option at all um zero subletting and um when you go to sell it the person that you want to sell it to has to be approved by the board as well so um harder to get into harder to get out of and um you the inside the interior of it, the only thing that you own, and I know this might sound crazy, is the air that's inside. When you are working with a condo, it's much more like purchasing a home. Your mortgage is a conventional mortgage. Um, you own everything on the inside. You don't have to be approved by a board or anything like that. You own all tangible um real property on the inside the only thing you don't own is the exterior which is what the hoa is for so um the only thing is if you if you if we come across something like this so this is a co-op for 375 looks fairly new but you can see here it's no board approval so this is what they call a sponsor owned um, co-op, a sponsor owned. Now I looked through all of these. This is the only one out of the 110 co-ops. Um, it's a rare find. So a sponsor owned co-op works like a condo. Getting into it works like a condo. Um, you don't have to get approved. You can sublet it if you want to. The only difference is you still only own the air on the inside so if you want to move a wall or take down a wall or redo the kitchen any project that you want to do on the inside you have to have approved by a board um where that is not the case with a condo so i just wanted to make sure that i'm going to send this one to you as well um let me just take a looks great it looks really nice actually it was renovated in uh 2021 so um, and it's in a cool, a cool area. So I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page, that we had a good understanding of the difference between condos and co-ops. And, you know, listen, I'm here to help you. So whichever way you want to go, I'm going to work my tail off to make that happen for you. All right. So um, any questions, always, always feel free to reach out. And I look forward to, uh, meeting with you and getting a house, getting a condo, all right? Or a co-op. All right, buddy.